What's up, JT Gunner here, and I am back with Metroid Prime Remastered, and, and, this time I have a guide. Yeah, so I'm gonna loosely follow a guide, probably when I need to. Finally decided to swallow my pride and just use a guide from now on, because I am recording a Let's Play. If I was live streaming or playing this on my own, I'd probably just find these upgrades at my leisure, but that's just really not doable. So I said, fuck it. I'm kind of tired of wandering around aimlessly, not getting anything done. So I looked up a guide, and I found out where to get the uh, space jump boots. And, would you believe it, we have to use that half pipe of the Talon Overworld, the one that I was struggling with. Oh boy, yeah, so we're gonna do that. Uh, according to the guide, we need to fully charge our boost ball when we are making an ascent, something like that. Okay, so, uh, this Game Rant guide that I have opened up says, On entering Talon Canyon, players should drop all the way down to the ground and head a few short steps to the left. Here, fans of classic Metroid games will find a very tall stone halfpipe, and they should use the boost ball to reach an opening at the top of the ramp on the left side. Notably, the timing can be a bit tricky due to the height of the halfpipe, and the players should do their best to release the fully charged boost balls precisely when they are starting to ascend the side. Jesus Christ, I mean, you may as well ask me to tap dance without using my feet. But we're gonna try this, because we have to do it apparently. Okay, so. There we go. 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 There we go. I'm seeing it work. Alright. Okay. Get my timing down better. There we go. Oop. Ah, fuck. Okay. I fucked it up. I almost had it. We almost got it, though. Alright. Ah, oh, great. Just took me over to the side I don't want to go. Come on. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Alright, alright, alright. We did it, y'all. We did it. Thank you, guide. Oh, boy. I was struggling with this for the longest ass time, I swear to God. But I guess there was a trick to how it's all supposed to be done. Okay. Once the half-pipe has been overcome, players should cross a bridge and use the Metroid Prime Remastered's Morph Balls. I don't know why they have... Oh, because they have it linked to other parts of the guide, I guess. That's why they do it that way. Anyway, destroy a series of walls that block their path. All right. I guess we bomb this. There we go. All right. This action will give fans access to the gully, which can be used to reach a position in the landing site that overlooks Samus' ship. All right. Looks like we're close. Here, players should simply drop across the gap to enter the door on their left and collect the space jump boosts that are housed in the alcove. All right. And jump! All right. Go ahead and jump. Jump! All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. This is what we wanted. All right. Wait. I am a big fucking boo-boo the fool. Part to two episodes of me. Doing jack shit. Now I know where to go. I should have done this earlier. I really should have. I am such a goddamn stupid ass. Anyway, space jump boots means you could double jump. All right. So, yeah. It doesn't just let you jump high. You double jump. All right. Oh, that's so nice. Just double jumping. Oh, my God. I just love double jumping in video games. I really do. Unironically. Any game that lets you double jump, I just... I just feel very good on the inside. Anyway, we're going to save our game <laughs> because we're not having a game over situation like we did last time. By the way, I did replay through what I uh, <laughs> played through last time. That's why I started from Samus' ship. I don't know if I said so in the beginning. But yeah, I got my missile upgrades again. Oops, I <laughs> got back in. Okay, so uh, where to from now? Right here. Wave B. This is uh, where we have to fight the boss, isn't it? Sort of looking at this guide real quick. Okay, okay, all right. No, we'll save again. You can never save enough. Um, to Andrana Drifts we go. Okay. Oh man, this game was pissing me off, but now I know what to do and I can double jump. All right. I'm sorry for the, well, three episodes of me not doing much, but you know, it's what happens when you explore on your own. You just don't know. Then you open a guy and it's like, okay, stupid. Here's what you need to do. 
Turns out that really hard thing was mandatory. That's why the game told you to go over there. In my defense, it was really hard. Legit. Like, it was legitimately difficult to, uh, oops, wrong way. Okay. Yeah, it was legitimately difficult to do that half pipe, but I figured it out. Well, the guy told me, rather, but, you know, I know now what I didn't know before. All right. So we're going to Fendrana Drifts. No more fucking around. No more grabbing our ass and... Elevator. We're going to the elevator. Can I even get up there? This one? Probably can. Let me try it. That'd be easier to just... Ooh, I can get up here. Okay. Anyway, I think we have to blow up this plant up here to destroy this thing. There we go. That helps. Ice world we go! First we have to go to the fire. Yeah, you can't catch me, I can double jump. Alright. Aw oh, man, I really should have opened up a guide earlier in my playthrough, but... I did want to find things on my own. But... I don't know, man. I just couldn't find shit. Well, actually, I could find shit. It just took me a long-ass time, and, uh... Turns out the thing I tried to skip was actually mandatory. So it goes. How did I do this so many years ago on the GameCube? I must have looked up a guide. I don't remember looking up a guide much when I played Metroid Prime originally. Somehow... I, I got to the wave beam. That much I do remember. I do remember getting the wave beam. And I think that is as far as I got. Well, I think I got a little further than that. Out of my way, Magmore of the Magmore Caverns fame. Oh, lava, don't game over. Don't game over here. Okay. I'm just saying nuts to everything. I'm trying to go for the wave beam. Wait, where's the spring ball? We have the spring ball in Metroid Prime, don't we? Let me, let me look it up real fast. So apparently spring ball is motion controls. It, this wasn't a feature in the original Metroid Prime, but apparently in the trilogy and now remastered, you use motion controls. Like I'm using the pro controller right now. I'm flicking the controller upward, the controller itself upward, and that is how you spring ball. Okay, I had no idea that was a thing. All right, so you don't get a separate power up for the spring ball in this game. You just flick your controller if you assuming that it has motion controls, but uh this game apparently did not originally have spring ball. I didn't think it did. I remember this, you know, jumping with the bombs. But I didn't think you totally um had like a spring ball like in Super Metroid. Okay. That's one power up I don't need to look up because we don't need it. All right. <laughs> That's actually uh funny. All right. I'm still using dual stick controls to aim though, so yeah. Anyway, to the ice world we go. Okay. We're making progress, finally. Finally, I know. Finally. Okay, try not to game over here, because these fucking turrets again. Okay. Alright. I do believe we just have to kind of keep going. Space jump all over the place. Alright. Mm-hmm, I see you. There we go. All right. Door should be close by. I think we have to enter this little station. I think it's right over there. Okay. Sweet. I'm figuring stuff out, y'all. I'm using my brain. Wait a minute. Okay. Should be a way up. No, oh, I guess not. Okay, okay. Okay, get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. How, how the fuck did I sink into this goddamn lava? Oh, Jesus Christ. I must have destroyed this brick. This gray brick. Oh, what the fuck's going on here? Okay. Well then, I tried to see if I could get up to that higher area. But it looks like I can't. Said I made a big ass of myself. How long have I been, have I been recording? 13 minutes? Feels like I barely got any done but most of it was just me guide reading so i mean this recording can go on for a bit longer i was gonna make this a rather light recording session but it looks like it's gonna be a little bit more average which is fine 
Me finally knowing where things are at has helped energize me, if I'm going to be honest, so I think I'll be good. I think I could probably record one more episode after this. We'll see, though. I mean, it's already 10.03 p.m. Eastern time for me right now, so it is getting pretty late. I do have work tomorrow, so it's not like I can record all night. It's all right. I'm going to save, though. Get some energy, because you can never save enough. God help us if I game over again. I'll be so pissed. Oh boy, that was not fun game overing, but, you know, I did go back and get my power-ups again, so, um, no harm there, I just need to, uh, there we go, alright. I think I could just totally, um, oh, good, I made it, okay, so this is what you gotta do, okay, cool. And, these we can't destroy, we're just gonna have to... Pass by him. I did scan these, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. I'm not 100% concerned about the compendium, but I'm gonna, you know. Object out of scanning range. Baby she got. Okay. Scan the thing. There we go. There we go. Dead. I scan these crystal lights. I sure did. Then scan this. What is that? Ice parasite. They destroy it? I sure can. Alright. Oh, it feels so good. Be able to double jump. Platforming has become much easier. What do we do here? Balancing the existing of the plane in his hands. Can I turn into a ball? And he does stuff? No. Okay. Some games in this series, you turn into a ball when you see a Chozo statue and stuff happens sometimes. At least that's been my experience. Oh boy, I know I'm sort of just skipping past those parasites. What do we do here? The statue's hands seem to be frozen in place. There's be a shell of ice encasing the water basin. Okay, so something happens here. All right, what's this? The statue depicting the bus of a chosen shaman adorns this door. Hmm. What do we do? Maybe I morph ball in here. This looks like morph ballable. No. It'll look a little bit more, then I'll guide, then it'll be guide time. Oh, there's a boss coming up, so... A few moments later... Alright, guide. I need your help. Where were you? Scan the hands, okay. So, back up we go. Time to scan your hands. Oh, you knocked me off. Okay, I'm tired of you. Die. Die. And... Where's the last one? Die. Okay, you know, wanted to keep you alive, mainly because killing you would have taken up too much time, but it left me no choice. I had to end your life. Anyway, and double jump, double jump, double jump, double jump, double jump, double jump, jump, jump. Okay, okay. Let's scan some hands but first. Let's make it over there. Philosopher. Architect. Warrior. Shaman. Okay, so... Shaman. Okay. Destroy it? Ah! And then we put ourselves in the hole. There we go. And bomb? Ah! Of course! Thank you, guide. I really should just scan more stuff, shouldn't I? I think that's what this game's trying to tell me. I must have consulted a guide when I played this on the GameCube years ago. Can't imagine my... Oh god, how old was I when I played this game? I didn't get this release day, so it wouldn't have been back in 2001. I don't know. Point is... I must have used a guide. I, I can't imagine that I figured the shit out on my own. Oh, I see. I have to blow that shit up down there, huh? Okay. There we go. Is that what we... That looks like that's what we need to do. Alright. And... There we go. And back up here. Alright. And through here. Okay. Alright, cool little maze. And there's the wave beam. Which means, you know, there's a boss coming up. 
I want the funny par power up. No, the purple's gone away. She got baby. She got. Where's mommy? She got. There we go. There we go. Expose that back. Aha! Not great. There's three of you. Didn't realize there's three of you. It's a lot of you. There we go. Looks like there's four. It keeps spawning. It's like you're being birthed by a giant creature. There we go. 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 All right. Power ups. Give me all the goodies. All right. Mommy time. Hell yeah. Okay, what's your deal? She Goth, supreme predator of the Fendrana Drifts. She Goths are invulnerable to most beam weapons. The crystals on their back absorb energy, which they fire at prey. She Goths have poor stamina. They hyperventilate after using their breath attack, making their mouth area vulnerable. The soft underbelly of a She Goth is susceptible to concussive blasts. I must be more tired than I thought. Holy shit. In battle, they expel blasts of frigid gas to ensnare their targets. They are also found ramming and trampling their hapless prey. Okay. So, tired out. And use our missiles. Okay. Alright. Come on. Alright. Nope. Don't use the beams. That's right. It's gonna absorb the beam. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm getting up close and personal with this thing. Okay. Breathe. Damn it. Breathe. There we go. Uh oh. Come on, ugly. You open that mouth. Pucker up. There we go. About to run out of missiles. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Damn. Got missiles in here? Sure do. Good. Ah, oh, great. Shooting energy. There we go. There we go. All right. Taking a little bit, but we're doing something. Just have to keep on the move. Avoiding most of her attacks so far. Assuming this is female. I assume this is the mommy she got. This is the rest for the babies. There we go. Out time. Damn. Touch a damage sponge. And eases from existence. We grab our power ups and we grab the cool upgrade. Sweet. All right. Wave beam. So now we have the wave beam, which means how do we use the wave beam? I didn't look at the controls. In the GameCube version, it was the C-Stick, but I totally have it, so it's like second stick aim, so what are the controls? So, use X and the D-pad. Okay, so that's how that's done. It's a little wacky, but I guess that's supposed to be like a compromise, because again, in the GameCube version, I think it was C-Stick that chose your beams. Because the D-pad will change your visors, because you could get different visors. Well, of course you know that because you see the scan visors, so X and... There we go. That's a little wacky, but... What is the X button used for otherwise? I don't know. Yeah, th I guess this that has to take some getting used to. Anyway, I think I need to find a stopping point. I think we made really good progress, so... Finally, finally, we're getting somewhere. I'm trying to spring ball upward. There we go. Okay. Bit tricky, but that's how you do it. Okay. Flick the controller. What a world we live in. All right. And then I believe we could destroy these things with the wave beam. We sure can. And we can charge it too. Ooh, boy. That's what I like to see. Except this thing is drawn to us when we charge. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Anywho. Let's get the fudge out of here. And go to the save point and finally save our game. There we go. There we go. All right. Grab my missile. Open the door. Oh god, the she goths in here too. Baby she goths. I guess stronger enemies start spawning in earlier areas when you get further into the game, eh? Oh yeah, because there's one over there too. Anyway, I need to save the game. I need to bring this 
little playthrough to a stop, so we're gonna do just that. Alright, save. See me saving? <laughs> so, yeah. Sort of gonna loosely follow this guide. Uh, maybe... Oh, that's right, there's a thermal visor in this game, too. I remember getting that when I got... when I played the GameCube version. So we're probably gonna do that uh, next time. So, yep, yeah, that's gonna be it. Progress. Finally, I know, after so many episodes. Kind of sad that I just didn't consult a guide before, but... Yeah, you know why. I, I keep telling you why. But anyway, that's gonna be it, guys. If you do me a solid, like, comment, subscribe, click the bell, share this video around. It really would help me out a lot, and I do appreciate your support. And that's it. I am JT Gunner. This is Metroid Prime Remastered, and I will see you next time. So see you later.